the madman. Victory or death. I am the beginning and the end. I am the new meta. Gain 100 armor. Well, you know, I was at a... I was at Cologne fighting 1 million health total Lich King, so... This is really not a problem at all. <laughs> Only 160 health. <laughs> I hope he doesn't kill this. Face? Oh. Would have been nice. I'm taking in that skulking geist against the Lich King. I think we can win this one on the first go, though. I'm obviously going to have to draw out uh, phase two, though. Hmm. That's gonna be tough to do. Deal four to all. It's not nearly good enough. Ooh. So I have to deal six to all, but I also need to draw it out. It's gonna be really, really hard. I mean, I could easily clear all this stuff, and then when this stuff comes back, it's gonna be pretty low. The problem is surviving the, uh, the constant damage. Alright, so I think the goal is to draw a few cards to lower the chances of drawing Brawl. Or to he heighten the chances of drawing Brawl. And then I can stabilize with an Alley Armorsmith, perhaps. I think we're gonna try to beat this, uh, final one with a pretty creative deck. Uh, this one's probably gonna lose, but... I think it's easy to stall out, uh, phase two in this, uh, as a warrior. No one borders me All I have to do is have, um... To brawl so that he only has one and then I can withstand, uh, five a turn. Easy peasy. I could not kill the 2-3, but it would deal me a lot of damage then. When I uh, beat this, I'll post a list and it'll be a pretty interesting challenge, I think. Like, this is obviously not even the optimal list, but... Winning with an unoptimal dead man's hand list as a warrior against the Lich King. I think that's a... Uh, it's a lot of fun, actually.
I'll probably end up for... I was thinking, like, I'll probably end up replacing some of these cards with Bring It On, but I guess you can have a budget version of this, too. This would be, like, the medium mode, and the easier mode. Easier mode? That'd be if, uh, Bring It On. Okay, so we actually don't need to shuffle these iron hides into the deck. Next turn is the turn where I would like to brawl. Right, I'll play one of these out for the card draw. Play both of those. Oh, right, that just dies to death. That's fine. It's kind of okay. And it's kind of not okay. It is what it is. single one of these card draw or every single card draws a card other than bash could use bash to kill yeah kill the girl that makes sense you like my invention. that's my last copy of bash though it's helpful to be able to bash uh, stuff later and I guess I have shield slam too you will know, we'll use shield slam instead of bash since bash can also gain me armor so it has utility I needed to lose a card for the, um, for a handful of reasons. Alright. I think this time we've got it. We've got a pretty small sized deck. And I think I can rig the copy pretty well here. Yeah, we've definitely got this. So the first uh, copy is not going to be the ideal copy, but we'll whittle down the hand enough so that I can get the ideal copy off. Try not to have too much card draw. So, do I want to copy exactly those cards? Do I want to copy a Voodoo Doctor? Yes. So how... What I feel about having that in my deck. Yeah, it seems okay. I probably didn't want to copy Armor Smith now that I think about it. So, the second phase of the uh, Dead Man's Hand is going to be to try to whittle down my uh, hand size a bit and get a more accurate uh, Dead Man's Hand and then eventually craft the perfect Dead Man's Hand. The perfect Dead Man's Hand being a hand of two Dead Man's Hand, Cold Light Oracle, Public Defender. Uh, 
I didn't actually want this card. I can start bashing my own stuff soon. Alright, I do need to copy Voodoo Doctor again. I need to bash self. Uh, I need to make sure to get rid of the whirlwind also. Alright, so. Yeah, this way. No, no, I need to copy the Voodoo Doctor. No, wait, I'll have no minions left. No, I'll have the Cold Light Oracle. But is that important? Can I eventually get the Cold Light Oracle to be played with the Public Defender each turn? I think it's too soon, though. So I do need to copy Voodoo Doctor, which means Whirlwind now. Uh, bash first. Now I can bash the Voodoo Doctor. Alright. We're getting there. Next turn I'm drawing the Cold Light Oracle, and then we can get our hand to just exactly those cards. Let's see, that's definitely good enough, right? No, because in order to defeat the Cold... I need to kill off my Cold Light Oracles using some methodology. So that means I need to keep the bashes. So that would mean... I need exactly those cards. Just make sure that I'm not messing up here. Let's see, if I have the Voodoo Doctor and the Whirlwind out of the way, then that means my Dead Man's Hand shuffles in Bash, Dead Man's Hand, Public Defender, Shield Block, and Cold Light Oracle. That's five cards, and I only draw... No, I draw four cards a turn. So eventually I'll fall behind. So... Are we ruined? Hmm. I mean, there can be turns where I don't play Public Defender. That's fine. Okay, so therefore, this setup means I win. So I'm keeping exactly the perfect cards. Alright. Alright, we've got it. Just have to think it through. Whoa, whoa. Don't need a uh, public defender. Oh, that's true. I'll get rid of it in the next cycle then. It's true that it's not necessary, I think, but it's uh, kind of insurance, I suppose. Yeah, the public defender isn't necessary. think about it this cycle yet again so yeah okay we can toss it then so each turn I spend exactly that 10 mana right three six wait that's that's 11 mana two five eight no that's 10 mana no wait that's huh it should be okay With, uh, with armor up as well, it'll work out. It's not going to be like a perfect cycle each round, I think. Just have to kind of loop the loop. Yeah, as long as I spend my mana each turn, it should be fine. And it's, uh... It seems impossible not to.
Okay, I just have to always make sure to shuffle exactly these cards in. Those four cards. Huh. So we need to actually play the Cold Light first, if I have the choice. Which I should always have the choice. Oh man, every single time I use a card I'm like, oh crap, did I just mess up? But no, I didn't. So there's certain phases where I can't use the oracle first, due to mana limitations. But no, that should be fine still. Alright, that works. So I need to get him to a point where uh, I make him draw three, and then he fatigues two times, and he has his natural draw, and then he fatigues. So given that he has 157, uh, all I need to do is get the fatigue counter up to 53-ish. Oh, and I also can break him into the next phase faster. Because... He won't kill me that fast. So, in this case, I actually have to take it. Any turn where I play the... block before the oracle, I'll have to end up taking a point of fatigue, but that'll have to be necessary in order to spend the mana. Right, I can also stack the cold light oracles. I do have a turn limit to beat him in. Due to the uh, game ending on round 45, so I have to think about how many rounds this has already been. I know I drew a lot of cards early. This is not good. This is a turn in which I didn't actually play Cold Light. Well, I guess I can play Shield Block, though. Uh, that'll mean I'll take Fatigue, but I have to spend my mana. Due to the danger of hitting the turn limit, I think I'm going to be bashing his trapped soul very, very soon. Stop shuffling the... Yeah, I guess uh, bash plus hero power is actually 7, which ties. Yeah, the shield block ends up actually not being useful.
think the shield block is actually counterproductive. Alright, I think it's time to break. So that would be Bash. Uh, how much do you take? Well, zero, but how much did it show for? Probably enough. So Bash, Cold Light, Dead Man's. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I forgot about these summons. Uh, hopefully, we're still good. We should still be good. We're definitely good here. I actually think it might be right to shield block. Because we'll have too many copies of shield block here. Anyways, it's not really worth thinking about too much. Because he's super dead. He took 26, so he's going to take 27, 28, and 29. Which is definitely enough. I don't even need to play this, but I'll play it anyways. Well, I guess in case, like, that was the turn of fatigue. <laughs> so is it wrong to carry the shield block over? Because with a four card combo, Dead Man's Hand, Dead Man's Hand, Cold Light Oracle plus uh, Bash, you always play Cold Light Oracle and then Bash, or I mean you play Dead Man's Hand, Cold Light Oracle, Bash. How is that? How can that possibly be wrong? Oh, because sometimes you don't draw. The only scary thing about having bash only is that you break even on health. I mean, with shield block, you get ahead, but. Anyways, that was an awesome waste of time. <laughs>